members and state legislators are pushing for a bill that would increase penalties for certain sexual offenses committed against correction officers in state prisons. And today our New York State Capitol correspondent Elise Klein talked to survivors and lawmakers about this issue. Here is her report. In 2018, Anna Vasquez was on duty when an inmate, she says, grabbed and forcibly touched her. The fear that came over me was overwhelming. For a moment, I felt paralyzed. Vasquez is not alone. Several other officers and corrections facility employees traveled to the Capitol today to share their experiences and advocate for legislation they feel will better protect them in their workplace. I hear women in the community voicing their opinions about uh, something like the Me Too movement, and I stand here and I say, where is my Me Too? Why am I the exception to this movement? Why is it okay for me and my friends, my coworkers, my peers, to be harassed and threatened and assaulted on a daily basis? Why is it okay? Some lawmakers don't think it's okay. The Senate and the Assembly currently carry legislation that would increase penalties for certain sexual offenses committed against correctional officers. Just like as we're walking through these halls here in Albany, we have protections. These correction officers deserve the same protections as every other workplace. There's no reason, no logical reason why sexual assault against a correction officer is not a felony. There should be more penalties for the, those individuals who commit that assault. Palmasano adds the implementation of the Humane Alternatives to Long-Term Solitary Confinement, or the HALT Act, have increased the number of assaults in prisons, including sexual assaults. In Albany, Elise Klein, Erie News Now.